Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Friday, April 22, 2022. I am Fredicia Liburd. The body of the late Vance Winkworth Amory, former Premier of Nevis, Senior Minister in the Federal Cabinet, and Ambassador Extraordinary Plenipotentiary, arrived on Nevis on Friday, April 22, 2022. A reception comprised of senior members of the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force and the St. Kitts and Nevis Defence Force was accorded to the statesman as his body arrived. Dignitaries, including government officials led by Premier the Honourable Mark Brantley, gathered for the reception of the mortal remains of His Excellency Vance Amory. The body of His Excellency will lie in state at the Theodore L. Hobson Court building in Charlestown from Thursday 28th to Friday 29th, April 2022. The viewing of the body will take place on Thursday from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. and on Friday from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. Members of the public will be able to file past the casket and pay their respects on the two days and during the hours stated. The official state funeral for the former Premier Vance Amory will be held on Saturday, April 30th at the Alchemido T. Willett Park. As ordered by the Governor-General, until April 30th, the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis will continue to observe an official period of mourning in respect of the passing of Ambassador His Excellency Vance Winkworth Amory. For Terms 1 and 2 of the 2021-2022 academic year, students in secondary schools on Nevis experienced a hybrid system where sometimes the students attended school in person and virtually. Principal Education Officers under the Claxton made an announcement with regards to the resumption of school on Monday, April 25th, 2022. We are pleased to announce, though, that effective April 25th, 2022, all secondary school students will return to sessions in person, and that means that we will not have the hybrid system. Students will be in person. They are expected to return to school very early on Monday morning. Students and parents are asked to note that the secondary schools will provide specific details in relation to the time, the start time for school, and the various sessions throughout the day please be guided by the information provided by the secondary schools. We are also encouraging students to ensure that they continue with the protocols, that they continue to adhere to any instructions and guidelines, guidelines given by their teachers, by any authorities at the school, any adults at the school. And for those students who are taking the school buses, we expect you to comply with the instructions given by the school bus attendants as well as the school bus drivers. We wish all of our secondary school students and all of our students on a whole a happy term three of the 2022, um, the 2021-2022 academic year and we wish you every success. The principal education officer spoke during an interview with the Department of Information on Friday, April 22nd, 2022. Meantime, the first week of Term 3 of the 2021-2022 academic school year will be a little bit different due to the hosting of the Gulf Insurance Interprimary Schools Championship slated for Wednesday, April 27, 2022. Principal Education Officer Zanella Claxton spoke of the changes for the week. All students from preschool to secondary school, are expected to attend sessions on Monday, April 25th, and all students will attend in person. Uh, they will attend as well on Tuesday, April 26th. On Wednesday, April 27th, we will ask parents to uh, allow their students to remain at home because our schools will be physically closed all day in light of the Interprimary Schools Championship. On Thursday, April 28th, our secondary and preschool students will continue as per usual. They will continue with their sessions and, of course, show up to school as well as, as Friday, April 29th. Our primary school students will remain at home on Thursday, April 28th and Friday, April 29th. 
the primary school students will return on Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. And so, once again, parents of primary school students, they will not have in-person sessions, they will not have physical sessions. Our schools will be closed, primary schools will be closed on Thursday, April 28th, and Friday, April 29th. Um, that will allow our teachers, our students to regroup, and we expect them to come back with enthusiasm, ready to learn, and of course settled when they resume on May 3rd. Still to come, Van's Got Bread Food Festival takes place on Saturday, April 23rd. The details right after this break. Have you signed up for the Nevis Water Department's new ePay platform? It's an easy, safe, and secure process. Here's how to sign up. Have your water bill handy and log on to epay.neviswaterdepartment.com using your mobile phone, tablet, or desktop, and the rest of the process is easy to follow. It can also be accessed by going to our website at www.neviswaterdepartment.com and clicking on Pay Your Bill. Once you have completed the process and your account is activated, the app allows you to make payments directly to Nevis Water Department, get access to your account balance, have access to your payment history, and interact with our customer service department through the help desk feature. Yes, it's that simple. So don't wait. Sign up all of your accounts today. And remember, we at the Nevis Water Department are here to bring you, our valued customers, exceptional service. Welcome back. A while back, um, last year, I think it was, we had a wonderful fundraising event uh, held up at the Botanical Gardens, and there the Caribbean Foundation for Children raised uh, some wonderful funds, uh, and here we are today happily to give those funds, hand those funds over to the Ministry of Education to benefit the school and hopefully the school meals program. Uh, we hope that each school will take these funds and uh, use them properly, use them any way they, they can to hopefully um, help the children, help the children for the school meals program, whether it be purchasing foods, whether it be even paying some bad, uh, some outstanding debts. I know their COVID hit some families very hard and there were some parents that uh, had some, some backed up fees. So you know what, maybe uh, these funds can come in handy to kind of clear some of those fees and get those children back on the program. So uh, I'm very, very happy uh, to be here today to, to do that. President of the Caribbean Foundation for Children, Michael Henville, speaking of the reason for the donation to the Department of Education during a brief handing over ceremony on Thursday, April 21st, 2022. Henville, in the presence of Vice President of the Foundation, Jareem Encarnacion, presented Principal Education Officer Zanella Claxton with a check in the amount of $35,000. He also expressed gratitude to the donors. Principal Education Officer Zanella Claxton expressed gratitude to the Foundation for its donation. Uh, on behalf of the Ministry and Department of Education, I, and of course all of our schools, our principals, our teachers, our staff, and the members of the, the school meals program as well, the staff members who work so assiduously with the school meals program, I want to say a heartfelt thank you to the Caribbean Foundation for Children. I know that you have been doing some work ensure, to ensure that our children on Nevis are well taken care of, and an, in, a, an integral part of care and, and well-being is, of course, nutrition. And so we want to thank you you for the foresight and maybe some insight um, in into what the situation is with our, our students here. Um, you correctly said, Mr. Henville, that some were affected by the COVID pandemic, and we have tried to ensure that we, we keep children nourished, and so this donation will go a very long way. Uh, we are grateful to the Caribbean Foundation for Children. We are grateful to all the persons who contributed um, during the fundraiser, and we look forward to greater partnerships in the future, and we also use this opportunity to encourage others to follow the lead of the Caribbean Foundation for Children and to come on board to support our children here on Nevis in any way possible. The donation took place at the Department of Education. 
The Barnes Got Bread Food Festival takes place on Saturday, April 23rd, 2022. Held at the Barnes Got Community Center, the event in its fourth year offers an all things bread food culinary adventure hosted by the Department of Community Development. We are just going to look at um, how bread food, the flexibility, if I should use that word of bread food, how it can be used and molded to make so many tasty dishes which will be on display at the bread food festival. Oil down roast bread food and red herring, steamed bread food and mackerel, bread food lasagna, bread food balls, bread food cheesy, curry bread food and kong, bread food salt fish pie, bread food chip, bread food salad, bread food puff, Bread food pancake, bread food drink, and the list go on and on. We are planning on having some barbecue chicken and some fried chicken because we want to make you happy. We want to please everybody. So come on out and let's have fun. Among the highlights of the day's events will be bread food cooking demonstrations. We are just going to have these master chef, uh, Ramona Nurse and Michael Helmville, who will guide um, the chef, or uh, wannabe chef, into what they're supposed to do to create the meal. I think one of the, the meal will be um, stir fry bread food and chicken breast. So that's something easy that I think you can put together. But if you're still wondering how you might get it done, come out and see the demo being done. I was asked to be part of it, so I'll see. And also Mr. John Hanley and others. So we'll see how that goes. And um, so it should be fun and it should be, the food should um, be tasty. We are going to have some entertainment available for you as well. We'll have a DJ, DJ Patterson, which is good. Um, we also have the, the newly lightning, um, newly launched lightning string band out of St. James's. And we have Masquerade out of Valence, and we will have some steel pan music. The action starts at 12 noon on Saturday the 20. 3rd of April at the Barnes Got Community Center and Center Grounds, and it will go until. Recipe books with a range of methods for preparing breadfruit dishes will also be on sale. The sponsors of the Barnes Got Breadfruit Festival include Hamilton Reserve Bank, Bank of Nevis Limited, Ministry of Tourism, Nevis Tourism Authority, Four Seasons Resort Nevis, Golden Rock Inn, and The Hermitage. So all those hotels and um, sponsors and all those persons who make it their business to volunteer to help in making this Bread Food Festival come to fruition, a heartfelt thank you from the Department of Community Development. And also I just want to say kudos to the staff, especially Miss Denicia Smitten and Miss Gail um, Greenaway, who have been working assiduously to bring this um, Bread Food Festival to fruition, Patterson and all the others. Um, thank you so much. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing.